So you might be in a position where for some reason you need to go ahead and clear your other storage on your specific iPhone. Now, doing this for the most part is fairly basic, but you do need to understand that there's a few ways to do it, and one of them is kind of a little bit of a reach. But essentially, to see your other storage, you want to go and click on General down here. You want to scroll down and click On, or you want to just go into iPhone Storage, which is right here. And then you can go and scroll down here, scroll all the way down, and you'll pretty much see the Clear Storage option or Other Storage or whatever all the way at the bottom. So essentially under iOS or system data or whatever the case is, there can be a lot of storage built in here. But if you go ahead and read it, it says system data includes caches, logs, and other resources that are used by the system. So it says it'll fluctuate according to the system needs. So there's not really a crazy amount of things you can do within system data. There's a few things you can try doing. For one, you can just go ahead and see if you have an iOS update available or downloaded in this area. So you can see if you scroll through this iPhone storage place, if you have things like, you know, your iOS 16 update or whatever is still looking around here, just go ahead and click on it, click on delete at the very bottom, and that will go and delete that downloaded update. Now, some other things to keep in mind is that if you have lots of things just going on, if you have like lots of applications on your phone too, you can go ahead and remove all those, you know, things for the most part, meaning you can go ahead and reduce the amount of apps you have, even if they're non-system apps, things like even like this one, this uncovered jailbreak thing that I've had a long time ago, deleting these things can actually go ahead and free up some of that storage sometimes as well, especially if there are a lot of tweaked apps or whatever. Sometimes those can take up some storage too, depending on what they are. So you may just want to go ahead and remove those depending on, you know, whatever, if you're not using those applications anymore, you might have go and delete them. Now, I've heard a lot of people say, if you want to go and kind of reduce this, you can also try updating your iPhone, which is another thing I'd recommend doing. So if you have the option of doing, go ahead and see if you have a software update available. Go ahead and update your specific phone, and that could very well end up fixing that problem as well and clearing out even more storage from your device. I've been in so many situations like that as well, where for some reason my device will just go ahead and just have tons of other storage or whatever, and sometimes you'll just have to go ahead and you know basically update your phone, and that could very well end up fixing the problem as well. Now, if that still doesn't fix it, you may want to go ahead, and this is probably the one of the best things you can do, but it's also the most you know tedious, is to go ahead and essentially factory reset your iPhone. So first, back up everything from your phone, back up everything you can think of, photos, videos, all that good stuff, and then what I would recommend doing from there is to pretty much factory reset your phone. Delete everything from your phone, go inside of your settings here, pretty much do a transfer reset iPhone, reset your iPhone, erase all constant and settings, and then go ahead and reset your iPhone back to what it was normally, and that could end up, that probably will, I will guarantee that will probably end up clearing all your storage, as well as the other storage down here, and that will help fix your you know, system storage for the most part as well. So that's another thing you can try doing for the most part too, and those are pretty much the main ways to do it for the most part. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.